Welcome to another episode on our channel. If you see me starting an episode, it usually means that my wife is otherwise occupied with work. And unfortunately, today and a few days prior to this and another few days after this will be the case. June is just an insane month for her. Uh, it just it historically just is. Um, what we're going to do a little bit different, though, is that I'm going to show you something. It's not just me announcing that, well, she'll be back in a, another episode or two. As you know, she has posted a few figures from The Walking Dead. Uh, Carol uh, is one of them. Uh, she did a complete kit bash of Maggie. Uh, search high and low for a face, you know, a head sculpt that resembled Maggie. I think she pulled it off pretty, pretty well. But she really wanted Michonne. And the Michonne character, there's one out there. Um, she didn't get it when it first came out because she didn't have an interest in the show. And... It, of course, it has gone up a lot in price since then. So she thought, hey, husband, why don't you print me a Michonne uh, action figure? It'd be a statue. It won't be articulated. Uh, but then the house had water damage, and I, I am still uh, working to, almost done, but I'm still working to remediate that. Uh, so what we did is that we went online to, I remember, Etsy or eBay or perhaps a person's website. It, it, even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you uh, because I don't want the really crummy 3D model that they this person printed and then sent to us. Um, if it was a one-off, a mistake, I, I don't want to... You know, I don't want to set fire to to their side hustle. Um, but what they sent was, frankly, unacceptable. And I almost sent it back. I did. I looked at it and I go, this hasn't been processed properly. Uh, if you look back a few episodes, you will see that I enjoy 3D printing. I just simply didn't have time to do it. Uh, so what we will do, we'll pause, I will put down a protective uh, cover over the table. Uh, unfortunately, I have to do that for a reason, and I will explain that reason as soon as we get back. So hang in there, we'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. As you can see, we bought a pre-printed 3D model. I almost sent it back, and let me tell you why. Whoever we bought this from did an incredibly bad job on multiple levels. In fact, the only reason we didn't send it back is that I was 90% through the cleanup process that they failed to do, and I thought, let's uh, let's hang on to this. This might make a Decent video. Um, hopefully it will anyway. So, as you can see, when you print these things, they are printed in pieces. And where's the torso? Uh, and you can see there's a, you know, peg and hole and they mount. Uh, but that's not the, the real issue. The real issue is with the individuals, it's called a post-processing process. <laughs> That's a tongue twister to say. Basically, once something has finished printing, uh, you're not done, not by a long shot. You, you pop it off the plate that it printed on, and then you put it into a alcohol bath and agitate it. Um, Usually, oh, I like to use 99% rubbing alcohol, 99% pure rubbing alcohol. Uh, I used to use denatured alcohol. It worked pretty good, stuck to high heaven, but I do it out in the garage anyway. 
Uh, it's basically moonshine with poison in the inside so people don't drink it. Uh, unfortunately, the state of California outlawed denatured alcohol. Uh, so if you live outside of California, hey, you know, it's, and you do 3D printing, uh, something to consider. But here's my gripe. The person that we bought this thing from didn't get rid of all the resin. The person we bought this from also did not get rid of the supports. Um, oops, sorry about that. Uh, this is the only piece that I didn't finish uh, cleaning up. And I hope the autofocus on this camera works. If you can see, there it is. See how shiny that is right there uh, at the waistband? Shouldn't be shiny. That, my friends, is raw liquid resin. This stuff is incredibly toxic. Um, you get this in your eye and you are going to spend a bad day in an emergency room. Uh, and it doesn't take much to, you know, you rub your, you know, touch something and then, you know, you rub your eye and, and it gets transferred and then really bad things happen. That's the most egregious part. Uh, the other parts were just annoying. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not. That is a support. They didn't bother removing all the supports. Uh, what else is wrong with this thing? Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see this or not. Yeah, let me turn it around there. But the index finger? The index finger is not fully printed. It is an incomplete print, and they send it to us anyway. Um, but getting back to this part, the resin is the real issue. Uh, these little holes that you see here, that is technically to submerge it in resin and then dump it out, submerge it, dump it out, submerge it, let it full, slosh it around, dump it out. I am scared to death what's on the inside of this. I got If they're this sloppy about the outside, you can bet your last paycheck that they're sloppy. There's liquid resin in here, and that's not a process that I'm going to address on camera. Um, so, what's the point of this video? Let the buyer beware. Um, typically what happens is people buy a printer, um, then they go buy a model off of uh, CT Trader or Thingiverse, and they simply don't learn to add supports. They buy a pre-supported model. Um, they have oftentimes will have no concept of uh, post-processing, uh, proper placement of, of supports. Uh, so, you know, when it's printing, um, you tend to get what you pay for, and then they go belly up on Etsy or eBay or whatever, and they walk away, no big deal, but you're stuck with a potentially trip to the emergency room, stuff like this. This is unacceptable. The only reason I didn't light this guy up like a Christmas tree is because I wanted to bring it to your attention. Um, I could go through on how to clean it up. Um, some of the telltale signs of a model that has not been properly um, cleaned up is the shiny part shouldn't be shiny. It should be very dull. shouldn't be anything shiny about it. Also, when you pick up something like this piece was, it was tacky to the touch. Shouldn't be tacky. Um, I had put this underneath a, a UV light for another, I don't know, minute and a half or so. And so if it's tacky, it means it's not properly cured. Um, again, shiny, even though this is shiny, this is no longer um, toxic. <laughs> This is no longer raw resin, but I stopped. I almost wish I, in fact, I had almost, I wish I hadn't touched this model. I wish I could have shown you everything. It was a train wreck. Um, but I thought, yep, I'll show them this part right there. That shiny bit, that's raw liquid resin, which I will clean up here shortly as soon as I'm done shooting this video. 
So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you have, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, consider doing so. And in the meantime, everyone, have a good day.